there. In one short video, I want to show you how adding a blog to your social media efforts can actually save you a little bit of time. The blog I'm going to be working with is WordPress. And WordPress um, is a very powerful tool. It's used by uh, over 28% of people in the world who have websites. And for that reason, it's a good place for almost everyone to start. Uh, keep in mind, too, that it also has blogging capabilities so that it's very easy to uh, add content uh, to your website and then share it to social media. Uh, the hope is that when people click on those links in social media, then they'll come back to your website and get a feel for just how smart you actually are. So in order to do this, um, assuming that we've established a WordPress blog, then uh, in the Tools menu, there is uh, a tool called Press This. And all you do is drag this up to your address bar. And then let's say I wanted to curate this article uh, for my website. What I would do is just click on Press This. And then I have a simple seven-step process that I have to follow. Press This has grabbed the title, the picture, an excerpt, and the source link automatically. So what do I do with that information? Well, first I select Press This from the bookmarks menu. I've all already done that. If, the con if no content comes in, there may be a button in the upper right-hand corner here that says Scan and you would click it and then you would see this information. But again, that's already been done. The next thing that you want to do is to trim the title. And by that, I mean you remove the name of the website. Check the title. Is this what you want your title to be? So the title here is Top 10 Tools for a Free Education Online. Sounds good to me. So I'm going to leave it. If it said here, uh, frequently you'll see the name of the website Or something like that. And by trimming the title, I mean you would click here at the end of what you want the title to be and just press the delete key until that excess is removed. Okay. The next thing that we do is to select an image from the carousel. And by carousel, I mean this area up here. There are only two images, so I'm just going to click on one. And that image will be brought into my uh, post. If I click on the image, then I get a menu that allows me to center that image. And what I also like to do is to grab this corner and to drag it until the size says it's about a thousand pixels. When I do that, it means that that image is going to display properly in just about any social media platform. Okay. Moving on to the next step, I would, I would edit the post content here. Edit the post content. And by that, I mean the text on the bottom. So what I like to do is to click after this sentence here and add a space and then click the delete key and bring that all up so it makes one nice little block of text. We're almost done here. So all I have to do at this point is to select the appropriate category. And so what I want to do here is go and pick the most relevant category which I will call learning, okay? So then at this point, I remember the words of the carpenter who said, measure twice and cut once. I check my title, I check my image, I check my content, I check my category, and then I click publish. So this is now being saved out to the website and it will show me a view of this document will be up in just a second. And here we are. Here's my title. Here's my image. Here's my content with a link to the original source. Now, at this point, I have all kinds of different options. I like having the sharing buttons installed on my blog so that I can use them as well. Um, 
But another thing that I want you to see is that there is a feature called publicize, excuse me, publicize within WordPress that allows you to automatically post to Facebook or a Facebook page, Twitter, Google Plus or a Google Plus page, LinkedIn or a LinkedIn page, Tumblr, Path, and there are even connections to Eventbrite and photos from Google. But when I went and click publish, my post was automatically shared to four different places, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Tumblr. So now if I go to my Twitter account, I will see that WordPress has automatically posted my blog post to Twitter. So the seven steps that I've outlined are seven steps that can usually be completed in about 60 seconds or less. And then using the publicize feature, I have automatically posted to several other places. Here is my post right here. And if I went to Facebook, Google Plus, and others, I would see the same thing. This is why I say that adding a blog to your social media marketing activities can actually save you time. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'd love to talk with you more about this topic. Thank you.